Hello, this is Father Bill. Um, here to talk to you today about May crownings. Uh, it's a wonderful traditional practice in the church to have a crowning uh, for Our Lady in May, uh, which is a month dedicated to her. So uh, we'll be having a May crowning uh, at Mass on Sunday at 9.30, so if you want to tune into that. Uh, and also we'll be having a special uh, crowning or May, May crowning blessing of uh, crowns on Saturday from 1 to 2 p.m. Uh, so if you want to make a crown uh, yourself uh, and bring it by to be blessed, uh, we'll be doing that Saturday from 1 to 2 at the church. Uh, stay in your cars, of course. We'll also be blessing holy water. So if you want to bring uh, things filled with water, we can bless uh, your water as well. So today uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about May crowning at home, since we can't obviously gather together for the May crowning in person. And it's a beautiful traditional practice to have a crowning at home. So uh, the first thing you need uh, is a table. And uh, as I was getting ready for this, I kind of feel like Mr. Rogers. I just need King Friday to go through with the little trolley, uh, you know, and uh, of course, won't you be my neighbor? So, um, but anyway, you need a, uh, a table and you, this can be set up in the house somewhere. Or uh, if you already have a table that's kind of prominent, maybe in the living room or somewhere where people gather frequently, uh, you can use that. So uh, once you've figured out your location, you have your table, uh, the next thing you're going to need is uh, a cloth of some sort um, to kind of give the, the table a little bit more oomph. Um, so, you know, if you don't have a white tablecloth, you can use anything you want, uh, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Um, so we have a little white tablecloth here. Uh, and then, of course, you know, Mary uh, is, uh, we always have flowers for Mary. So we have some flowers for her. Uh, these are beautiful flowers. They're a little dusty. But um, <clears throat> anyway, you can have real ones or fake ones if you don't have uh, that. So we put that in front of the, the statue where the table where we're going to have that. And then we also need to have an image of Our Lady. So um, I have this beautiful image of Our Lady's Seat of Wisdom. Uh, that's uh, in uh, it's a Sulpician statue. So f from the Sulpician order was carved in the 1800s, and it's found in all their seminaries. Uh, so it's a beautiful image uh, of Our Lady and Child. And so uh, I have that one. Uh, so there, and then of course uh, to give to make you know this a little bit more solemn, you know you can have candles. If you don't have real candles, you can have fake candles or scented candles, whatever, whatever you've got, um, you know, chocolate flavored or whatever. Um, so that's an, a nice way of doing that. And then, of course, you need uh, to have a crown. Uh, so easy to make. I just went outside uh, and cut some dogwood uh, branches off. You know, we have them blooming around us. So I made it out of dogwood, just kind of fashion it together, make sure it uh, fits and then um, for and then the other thing is you can get a little basket or if you have some flowers uh, you can put them together to make a sort of an offering to Our Lady so for the rite itself you know a great thing to do would be to sing a hymn uh, to Our Lady uh, Immaculate Mary or Hail Holy Queen whatever uh, you know you can search online for uh, popular songs um, gather around as a family uh, and then uh, you can either uh, pray some of the rosary, pray a, the whole thing or a decade or whatever uh, the little ones can, can endure. Uh, you know, the more the better. Our Lady always likes offerings, uh, so, you know, as much as you can do. Um, and then a reading from Scripture would be nice. Uh, you know, I always like the uh, Annunciation or uh, from the beginning of Luke's Gospel, or you could do the Wedding Feast of Cana. Um, you know, something to recall Mary's yes. Um, to the Lord. Um, and then uh, for uh, after that, uh, you can have uh, each of the family members could take a little flower and place it uh, around uh, the statue of Our Lady and maybe say an intention uh, of each one, you know, what they're trying to pray for, what they'd like to ask Mary to pray to her son for, uh, maybe for health or financial security, for um, you know, classes to be done for the end of Zoom meetings, uh, for what, whatever whatever is going on in your in your life and your family. Uh, that's a great thing to to place 
before Our Lady, so to have these little flowers. You can put them in vases too if you have it or whatever, um, whatever you'd like. So once that's done, you need to appoint a, uh, a person to crown the image. Uh, traditionally, we have a May Queen, uh, so someone in the family uh, who is the, going to be the one who crowns the image. Um, you can also have mom and dad do it uh, if you'd like, uh, but whoever is the May Queen or the one who's going to crown the image, then you would uh, place the image or the crown on Mary's uh, head and maybe sing another verse of, of your song. Uh, and then uh, after that, uh, you know, as a way of giving thanks uh, once you're done, um, to uh, have a feast or something special. So maybe bake some cookies or have something that the family uh, likes to eat, ice cream, uh, something like that, or bake a cake. Um, you know, that's a, a beautiful thing to, uh, to have. Maybe have blue and white frosting or sprinkles or something like that. Of course, I love oatmeal raisin cookies, so that wouldn't really work, but um, you can have something to, to celebrate this uh, moment. Um, and then keep the, uh, the table up for as long as you can, maybe for the whole month, to um, you know, change out the flowers or gather around for devotions uh, during, the, during the week, pray the rosary together, maybe on the Saturdays, you know, those are days always dedicated to Mary uh, in the church, so to have that you know, as a special day uh, for Our Lady to ask for her protection. We also, uh, the, the nation is consecrated to Our Lady Mother of the Church by all our bishops on May 1st, so this is a special time to dedicate ourselves to Mary as well. So again, uh, if you'd like to have your own um, uh, uh, crowning, uh, you can uh, uh, do that. Come by the church on Saturday from 1 to 2 p.m. Uh, for a blessing in your cars uh, of a May crown, uh, or also uh, you can... Um, uh, you can make one yourself. So God bless you. Know you're in our prayers and uh, may the Lord keep you. May Our Lady watch over you and cover you with her mantle. May God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.